In this video, I want to show you how to pull data in from a web page into your Excel workbook. I'm, I'm going to start on a blank worksheet. You don't have to start on a blank worksheet. You can start on any workbook really, or any worksheet. So I'll pick on the data menu up top, data. And now in your case, you may not have to pick on the word get external data. Uh, if that's there, you're going to click on that. If it's not there, then you'll just see these icons on the left side of the data menu. So I'm going to pick where it says from web. And then you get this little browser window. Now I just moved that window. Now on this browser window, you're going to go to the site from which you want to take the data. So here's a, a site that I usually use in this example when I teach these classes. So I'm going to go up to www.google.com slash finance. It's a pretty good financial site. It'll have uh, your stock symbols and things like that. Google.com slash finance. Now, if you get these kind of messages, it'll still probably work. So close that window if you get these messages. Sometimes that does happen when you're doing this procedure. Uh, I'm going to pick on the word go now. And it's going to load that page. Good. Now what you're looking for, you're looking for these yellow arrows. That's data that Excel can recognize. So I'll pick on the yellow arrow right there. And notice how it's now selected. And I'm going to pick on the word import. And I'm going to click on OK. And just like that, here comes the data. Now that's actually live data. So if that web page changes, uh, then I want my um, Excel spreadsheet to change as well. Here's what we can do about that. I'm going to pick on the data menu and I'll pick on the word refresh all and then I'll pick on the word connection properties. And then from this window, you're going to say refresh every so many minutes. You can choose whatever number of minutes that you want it there. And then I'll say refresh the data when opening up the file. So that way, if the data refreshes on the website, then it'll refresh here as well. Now what's going to happen is within a few seconds of now, my mouse will become an hourglass. And when it becomes an hourglass, then you will see the data refresh. Now I'm actually recording this on a Saturday, so I don't know if the numbers are actually going to change or not, but we should at least see the hourglass when it tries to refresh that data. There goes the hourglass. Now, like I said, the numbers would have changed, but I, do, I did this on a Saturday. So, um, but you see how it really did try to refresh. Let's see how we did this again. I'm going to go to another blank sheet. I'm going to pick on the data tab. And at this point, I'll pick on the word from web. And I'll try that with that same uh, web page. So at this point, I'll go up to, now I should be able to go to my history here. And I'll go to uh, google.com slash finance. Now I'll pick another yellow arrow. I'll pick on this one over here. You see it? And I'll pick on import. And now I'll click on OK. And now it's going to try to pull the data in from that web page. Then from there, if you want to refresh it, you pick on the data menu. You say refresh all connection properties. And then I'm going to click on where it says refresh every so many minutes. And I can change the number of minutes. And also refresh the data when opening up the file. I'm going to click on OK. So that's a great way on how to pull data in from a web page into your Excel spreadsheet.